Hi, Kenny. Hi, Zargot. Uh, all right. It's a little kind of a... Hi, Charlotte. It's kind of blah day. Let me turn on my light. There we go. There's a... I don't want it too shiny. Oh, wow. I don't know what I want to do today. <laughs> I'm currently working on two different pictures. I've got one in the Beauty Horror, one in Zelmja Snova. And it's my first Zelmja Snova, so it's pretty beat up. You can see all the stuff there. Um, hi, Katrina. I don't know what I want to work in. So I will show you guys what I'm doing, and then y'all can help me decide what to do today. So this is the one in Beauty Horror. For whatever reason, I decided to do a... Two giant double spread, spread pages. Whoa. Um, one in Zomja Snow, one in Beauty of Horror. Uh, this is all done with ink tents so far and a little bit of, you can see the shine there, the gold gel pen. Um, so this is the first one. This is ink tents. I'm starting to work my way back around. You can see it's a little darker over here than maybe these are. I'm doing just a little extra um, oomph of the oak color. Then I have the insides here and the flowers to do. Um, the blue background's pretty much finished. Um, so this is this is the Beauty of Horror double page spread. But I started with ink tents. Um, I'm, I'm, I dig it. I like it. It went fairly fast, I, I've got to say. Um, but now I just have to go in and like really nail down some colors. Like this turned out too light, so I need to, I started doing it over here. So, um, that's one option was the Beauty of Horror. And then the other one I started working on is not that page is this double page spread um oh my goodness i got eraser bits all over it this is the other double page spread so i did neo color twos and then i took pablo's and went back over it just to kind of solidify the color it's a nice little sunset i've started on some of the beach trees back here Birch, birch, not beach, birch, B-I-R-C-H. So I'm going to have all of them be birch trees, except this tree is an oak. This tree is an oak, or maple, I'm sorry, not oak, maple, 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 maple. And I haven't decided which of these I want to be a maple tree yet. I'm actually leaning towards this one. I don't know that um, birch trees get this thick, so this might actually be the other oak or maple. Do this one. Hi, Teresa. Hi, May. So, Katrina wants the Sleeping Beauty in the Forest. I don't know how to like showcase them both. And then there's the coffin page. Hi Teresa! So I don't know which one to do. I mean I, I'm digging both of them. That's That's my problem. <laughs> I'm digging both of them, but which one do you guys want to see? That's what I want to know. So I was thinking some nice blood red roses. 
and it looks like a bride and a groom which is kind of creepy perfect for October but I could save doing the finishing this up on stream for closer to Halloween <sighs> did I get blue I did I got blue down here look at that I'm terrible how sad The paper did very well, though, if you guys are curious. Lots of buckling, but no bleed through. May likes the coffins. Katrina wants the trees. All month is Halloween. <laughs> I could work a little on both. The trees will be kind of boring. Let's start. We'll start with the coffins and see where we go from there. Let's zoom on in. Let Teresa choose. Teresa likes the coffins. Zargat doesn't care. She's easy to please. Let's see if I can get my water brushes. I've actually gone in with. Was it the bark? I went in with the bark and like outlined. Where's the? I was using the Jelly Roll metallic gold. So we'll just go in and do that. No, don't want the bark. I want the oak. And I have the Arteza. I think this is the medium tip brush. Kenny, I don't know what I want to do. That's the problem. I also have uh, the Derwent number one, which is really small. But I'll use that around the smaller areas. Right now I'm just going to go in. And so for the first thing I did is I scribbled on here and then I diluted it. Second run around I'm taking straight from the tip. So let's do do around here. I hope that light's gonna make it really hard to see. I wanted the top of the lid to be the highest point of the coffin so I try keeping it lighter than the outsides thank you Katrina how are you all today? I caught some of May's live stream this morning, but I had to get the kiddos ready for school. I've got, the kids really want to start decorating for Halloween. I feel bad that we haven't yet, but my front bushes need trimmed and stuff. So I don't necessarily want to do that until I've trimmed the bushes, so I need to do that today. Oh, Charlotte. Uh, okay. I'll have to record one sometime. The next time I do one, Charlotte, I'll record it. I actually did, I did with that because it was so intricate, I did what I'm doing here and I just took from the tip and I had an idea of how I wanted it laid out. That one was just so intricate I had to I couldn't go in with the crayons, the crayons were too fat. 
Hi, Janet. How are you? What's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? It's Tuesday, right? It is. It's Tuesday. I'm debating. My husband's going to London next week. I'm debating asking him to get me the Coloring Haven magazine. Because <laughs> he'll ask what I want and I'll be like, oh, just, just give me the magazine. Oh, where are you from, Teresa? Yeah, we do it big here in the States, that's for sure. Though, I guess we do everything big, don't we? No problem, Kenny. Good to hear, Janet. I'm glad. I'm glad everybody's doing well. Ah. Thanks, Teresa. I was buying them directly from Anthem Publishing, but they've been um, less than helpful is a kind way to put that. Yes. And it's really super expensive. Yeah, two hours and it starts getting getting to you, doesn't it, May? My back is killing today. My hip is killing. I actually started a pain tracker in my bullet journal. Um, for like pain scale of one to ten, what they usually ask, and then whether or not I took medicine. I'm finding about five is my threshold. I thought I had a higher pain tolerance than that, but guess not. That's sweet, Teresa. Thank you. I really want the Halloween one with that um, that new illustrator. One, the one I'm going to send my husband for. I mean, he's going anyway, Teresa, so I'm just going to have him pick it up if he can find it. Where should I send him? Where should I tell him to go? Would just a bookstore have it? Because he'll go to a bookstore. But I don't know that he would walk in somewhere like Tesco or whatever. Because he's going to be like near St. Paul's Cathedral, London. So I don't even know where to go. I don't even know where to tell him to go. You know? That's what I'm wondering, Zargot. Like, we were looking on the map of places for him to visit. Like, he wants to go see um, Churchill's Bunkers, which I guess are open to the public. Uh, so he's going to go see that. We found some pen stores for, like, um, fountain pens and stuff, but I don't know. Most newsstands. Hmm. Do they have newsstands like they do out in New York City? Where they, you know, it's just on the corner. This, like, booth with 
newspapers and stuff. Oh, but Katrina, I don't, I don't mess with all that stuff. I have, I have every um, bag I could need, and I don't wear designer perfume. That stuff gives me a headache. I'm actually pilling the paper in some spots, but I'm not plussed by it because I'm not actually going to go over. With pencil other than to shade some areas <clears throat> need more water the only thing I hate about Arteza is this stuff like this kills me where it just like rubs off like everything they have just rubs off it's terrible. That's my only, that's one of my big gripes about Artezas. Whatever printing they're doing is terrible. It's horrible printing. Blackwells, okay. I know he went to a bookstore last time, but I don't know like where he was. He could have been outside of London. Um, he went last time and got me some coloring books, which I have never colored in because I'm a terrible wife. But he doesn't know. Hi, Melody. Yeah, May, that's, that's exactly what they have in New York. Um, is that type of thing. It's just like this newsy stand with newspapers and gum and, you know, soda and magazines. Same thing. Yeah, they sell a bit of everything. They're going to have the 72 pencil set back in stock from the 16th of October for the Artezas. Still no gouache. Huh. What if their manufacturing is backed up? I assume they're getting everything manufactured in China. Oh, that's for Europe. Okay. This needs darker. More darkness. <laughs> mm -hmm. I uh, apparently have agreed to host I'm going to switch out to the Derwent. Just finish up these couple here. I apparently have agreed to uh, host three or four girls at my house uh, tonight after school because I'm a crazy pants person. I'm sorry, I keep hitting that. So I moved on to the Derwent um, water brush. To do these little areas here. I don't actually know what I was thinking saying I'll watch all the kids, but you know, 
I did that, I opened my big fat mouth and said, yeah, I'll take them. The other mom was looking like she would rather eat bugs and the dad was like, I've got, a, you know, I've got a work call. I can't, I can't watch them. Hi, Kimberly. Thanks, Zargat. Yeah, I know, Kimberly, it's where I'm getting at right now is it's not worth it to ship it here. Not from their shop, at least. I know I'm not Kimberly, but I'm going to answer too, Teresa. They were charging $24.99. It was $9.99 for a while there, and then they, like, without warning, increased it to $24. And that's per, that's per thing. That's not for, like, three of them, or that's not for whatever. That was per single. I did the deal where they were, like, um, ten dollars for three for a subscription, and I just got notification that my second one is shipping, which is I'm like five months behind now. I don't know, I don't even know. I have to go in and look and see what the last one they sent me was. It's ridiculous, either way, it's ridiculous. And they had like four different accounts for me because for whatever reason they decided or the website decided that every time I logged in it would just open a new account. It was really ridiculous. Oh, was that about it, Kimberly? Yeah, I find that absolutely ridiculous. Get my gold working. I mean, they're nice magazines and all that. Don't get me wrong. It's decent paper. Um, but holy moly. Are they starting to charge an arm and a leg? I mean, I'm sure the, the, the boom with all the YouTubers having them and like they were starting to realize how much money they were losing on shipping. Um, but still... I mean, come on. Hi, Christian. Am I still on? I'm still on camera. Good. I know, Teresa, it is. It really is. Because how much, how much is it if you just buy it at a shop or something?
There are trolls, Christian. Um, I'm not plussed about it. I I canceled mine, May. It was too much. I have other things that I want more than a magazine like that. Sorry, I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. All right. Go back to the Arteza. Go back to the Oak. That's what I'm thinking, Melody, because I'm pretty sure I'm still, like, two, two things behind. I don't think I'm getting the Halloween special this, this order, so. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. It happens. Oh, I didn't, I didn't paint in those. Five, nine, eight, that's ridiculous, because that's what? That's probably eight US dollars. I mean, that's nothing compared to the 20 some odd they're trying to charge, which I get with shipping and whatnot, but still like I've shipped to the UK. It's not that much. I mean, it, you know, six, but you could use media mail, which is like so much cheaper. Yeah. Probably somebody upset that I blocked them. Or muted them, I should say. They're not blocked. Because for whatever reason, you can't block people on YouTube. You can only mute them. So... Yeah, I'm almost three months behind. Like, it's pretty ridiculous. Oh, no, Kenny, you only have 40 minutes. Hi, Chai. How are you?
let's go back in with the gold. doing silver but I thought with these browns that the gold would look much better I'm gonna hopefully have time to to record uh, me drawing my campfire today I don't know if I'll get it put up today but I'll at least record it Cause that's my that's my doodle for today is campfire. Wow, I went I went twangy on that campfire. My twang's coming. Hi, Teresa. Nope, oh, I missed something. Uh, it's, be it's the first beauty of horror, Elizabeth. Sorry I missed you coming in, sweetie. I was paying attention. That's the first one. I've had it for a while now. I like the look of the other ones, but some of them have clowns and I'm not like, I don't really dig clowns at all. Even a little bit. <laughs> Teresa's everywhere. Let's see. I'm going to go. Uh, work on no because that's still wet er er I say Almost at the inside on black. Oh, see? Earth. I have no I have no patience. This is why wet media and I don't get along very well. I have no patience for it. <laughs> oh no. Hi Robin. You're looking at everything except the center. I don't blame you, Melody. She's kind of creepy. I don't like zombies either, but that's more of a function of my ex-husband than any real fear. He used to have us train for the zombie apocalypse and like not joking. Not like, haha, -ha, this is like D&D, &D, let's role play. No, it was, it was real for him. There was going to be a zombie apocalypse and we had to prepare. So, I don't like zombies. Bad connotations. Oh. Oh, Robin, thyroid issues. Those are never fun. They, my mom's been trying to get the right blend of medications for her, her thyroid for six months now, and they're still not right. Um, 
she had she had to have her thyroid removed. So I literally bought this for Halloween. That is the sole reason I bought this book was strictly for Halloween. Hi, Tess. Yep, that's what my mom says too. Do you mind me asking what medication it is, Robin? Because my mom's on her third type. Oh, wow, Chai. That has to be so rough. Look at you, just a kicking it and going. Oh, man, Tess. Seems to be a thing going, huh? I always get my thyroid checked um, once a year because of my mom, my mom's condition, so... That and she has macular degeneration, so I always get my eyes checked once a year, too. Scoot on down to the bottom here. Levothyroxine, yeah. My mom couldn't keep that up. She had to, she had to go to the Synthroid, which for a while was really doing a lot better for her, but... Now, it's just not working out so hot. But all that thyroid medication is so expensive. Oh, wow, Robin. Yeah, my mom, let's see, I was, I didn't live at home anymore. I was probably about 20, 19, 20. I was about 20 when she had hers removed. So it's been 18 years now. Right? Yes. So I'm 38. Doing good, Tess. How are you? I have to do some yard work today. I'm not necessarily looking forward to it. Hi, CB. How are you? 
Oh, that's sad, Teresa. All right, let's see. What else? All right, I think I'm going to I'm going to stop with the the creeptacular um Thing. Put that away. I'm gonna put put up put up the book of horror, the the beauty of horror. That's what I've been working out of. Um, I was working on the coffin spread, but I'm gonna set it aside because I keep putting my hand in stuff. And I don't mean to. Let that sit up there. I'm gonna move over to my Zomdrasnova to this pretty pretty little spread. And I've been working on the trees. I'm actually going to start here at the bottom. Now the background was with Neo 2s and then the corresponding Pablo. So I used like golden yellow, something, 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 night blue, and indigo. Oh, duh. Teresa, no joke. After insurance, my mom still pays five hundred dollars a month for her um, for her thyroid medication until she hits her deductible, and then you know it drops, but still. Um, so the colors I'm using, I'm giving a little bit of a highlight from the sunset. So I have the yellow for the highlight, and these are all in Pablo's. I have um, light beige, beige, um, brownish beige, cocoa, and grayish black for the darkest parts. I'm trying to keep it where the, the light is coming this way, so there will be shadows from the top and from the side. Thank you, CB. How do you have double insurance, Robin? Oh, yay, Tess. So I'm going to set these down. I was working up here, so I'm going to continue. I actually had erased this one. I made it too dark. I didn't leave enough of a light area. So I'm going to go in with the uh, light beige here. Make sure, yeah. Oh, okay, Medicare, Medicaid. I wouldn't consider that double insurance. They cover different things, Robin. There is a bit of overlap, but not much. Or one picks up the bill where the other drops off. But keep it while it lasts. God only knows how long it'll be there. All right, so this is the beige then. It is, it is, for those that, that qualify for it. I, I was, uh, I worked at a place that cut my hours at 38 hours. Or 38.5, like it was something really stupid like that. Just so they didn't have to pay me insurance. Or didn't have to provide me insurance. And I had bronchitis. And I tried applying for Medicare, Medicaid. I was married. My husband didn't work. Um, my, you know, my employer didn't provide insurance. But I didn't have any kids, so I got turned down. I made too much for a single person. Never mind, I could barely pay my bills. 
but you know. Oh, Janet, I got that too. <laughs> oh, Tess, that sucks. I hate when something's so close but so far away. So, that was brownish beige. This is the cocoa. Get into some shadowy type things here. Ah, uh, Chai, are you talking about that fold out Tombow one? Is that the one you're talking about? Because right now I have the one that comes with the 96 or the 92 set or whatever, how many of it is. And I don't like it. But I am seriously thinking about that fold out one. Accordion. That's the word. Accordion. Is that the one you're talking about, Chai? Because I want that one. Yes. Yes. Doesn't that look awesome? Ah, oh, I want that. But I have priorities, like, you know, bills. They do, they have a new one. They have a new one, Christiane. They have the one that comes with it, which is just the, like, stand thing. But now they have, like, a travel case, which is, like, this accordion thing. Um, if Mayor Zargot could look that up on Amazon... I was watching, um, yeah, Chai, I was watching a uh, bullet journal stationery haul, and they had that. Oh, I know, Melody, it's terrible, isn't it? I'm sliding down because I want to get this tree right here. Now, I may have messed up a few times and put sky where it should have been tree and tree where it should have been sky. I'm just letting it roll. That's why I have five books. <laughs> this, is, this is my tester to see, like, how I can do this. So... I'm going to go in with the light beige on here. Oh, this. Right, Tess? So a little bit of yellow. Just a hint. Just a hint. I don't, I don't want it to be too much. And it's not going to go very far up the tree either because the sun is at horizon or below horizon. Um, so I need to put that on my wish list. Hold on. Hi. I've started writing down my Amazon wish list because my my other one has gotten so crazy. Um, Tombow case. And I want Forest Girls 2. Though that's not on Amazon, but whatever. That's on Etsy. Now I won't forget. I don't know, Tombow case? I'm going to go for the beige. So I did the light beige, now I'm going to do the beige. Thank you, Zargot. Hmm. 
Not borch trees, birch tree. Fat fingers. Yes, yeah, so this is kind of like what I'm going for this look. If anybody's curious, that's the look I'm going for with these trees. I will go in with a black marker um, and do some of these darker lines or a gray. Maybe I'll just take a gray, really dark gray. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. I just had to make sure that that's what it was. Um, I Tess, I've seen how many sets? Eight? But then you're getting dupes. You're getting duplicates um, in the sets. So just be aware of that. Here, let me take... Let me take a gray. Let me take, I'm gonna go with a nice warm gray. So I'm gonna grab my pit warm gray three. Yes, and warm gray four. Yes. I'm just going to do some of these birchy areas where they have these lines at and these hash hashy marks. All right, Zargot, have a good day. Interesting. I wonder if that's just so you can have some blenders or something. Yeah, every individual set comes with a blender, too. Tess, I love playing with the... Um, A skin tone set, but not for skin tones. I like playing with it for the those mid tone ranges, those soft colors. There, that looks a little more birchy. A little more birchy. I've got hair falling everywhere. This is killing me. And it's my hair. It's not my kid's hair. I'm pretty sure, though. Kaylee did hug me for quite a while. Maybe that was her hair. It's very hard to tell. Like, I'm just, I just keep pulling hair. Ugh. I'd almost wish for cat hair. It's ridiculous. Uh, Tess, I'm, I haven't used them for skin, so I don't know. I'm sorry. This is the brownish beige. Um, I'm sure they would be fine. Uh, I'm getting extremely tired of getting... robocalls. should go in and block that number. What's killer is like I know people in West Carrollton, Ohio, 
And so when I get that call, like I have this urge to answer it. But like the people I know in West Carrollton, Ohio, they wouldn't call me. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh no, Janet. No. Oh, mine's just now back down to my shoulders. This is the uh, cocoa. Mine's just now back down to my shoulders. I had it trimmed really short. This is a year's worth of growth now. Um, no, I, I lose the requisite 90, what do they say, you lose about 90 hairs a day? Oh yeah, I'm there. Oh, are there any Whovians? Are there any Whovians? Did anybody watch Doctor Who? The new episode? Really, Janet? Your hair grew that long? Interesting. Mine never does. Mine never gets past my bra strap. Except for when I was a kid. Uh, grayish black. Apparently my mom said um, when I was six there was a whole big... Um, thing of lice like everybody at school got lice and then I had it three times that year because none of the other kids parents were like taking care of it they just let them keep having lice so my mom pixie cutted me at six wow Tess so I've had I've had hair not go um, below my shoulder blades since then I have an iPhone, Robin. Oh, Melody, I have the Zigs too. I've been using my Zigs in my uh, uh, bullet journal. The Zigs and Tombos. <laughs> Melody. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to smile like the emoji? What's wrong with the emoji? Alright. I'm going to kind of do... Let's see. I'm going to kind of do all of this back in here. Let's go... Just about up to there and stop. So that was the light beige. All right, Charlotte. Have a good day. Call me. Oh, I don't have an iPad. I just have an iPhone. I hate when they change stuff. Especially after I've just finally gotten used to the last change and then they changed it again I was just like uh... No, Tess. I'm good. Well, here's the thing, Tess. I'll go run your errands if you come trim my bushes in front of my house. May. Stop it. Oh. 
I have two giant ones. The previous owners were sick. Um, we still haven't figured out whether or not uh, the husband passed away before they moved or if he passed away after. Um, he had can lung cancer. Apparently he never stopped smoking even after he got lung cancer. So my, my sympathy lowers at, at that point. Uh, Coco. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, May's mind is always in the gutter, so I just try to stop it before it goes. Oh no, Teresa. Oh, did you all see where um, Apple got in trouble for throttling uh, battery power and, and all sorts of stuff to force you to upgrade? I swear they're still doing it. So I've got an iPhone 8 Plus or S or uh, whatever the big, big one is. And I swear it's starting to slow down again. <laughs> oh, no problem, May. Eh? I know, you gotta keep feeding them every day, like clockwork. I know, Kimberly, I know. My, my grandpa, on my mom's side, uh, smoked, ended up with lung cancer, quit, like, as soon as he left the doctor's office, like, he quit. Um, granted, the cancer they had found was about the size of a quarter, radiated, and he lived another 15 years. So, I mean, yeah, quitting can help, maybe. No problem. Thank you, Catherine. Oh, cool, Tess. I mean, no, I don't set up Apple Pay. Screw all that. <laughs> oh, I'm going back in with the light beige here just to kind of blend all that out. Oh, Kimberly, I quit, let's see, Zoe's five, I quit six years ago, and so did my husband, because my dad smoked, my mom smoked, my mom's 12 years now, she's quit, dad smoked, mom smoked, uh, grandparents on mom's side smoked, grandpa on dad's side smoked, so I was just always... I was just always exposed to it. So, of course, I picked up the habit. My brother never did. My sister still smokes. Though we're slowly working on her. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth. It was a mix of Neo2 and um, the Pablos. But it's not actually smooth. I mean, I still see... I don't know if you can... Why did the focus go off? There. So you can still see like the pencil marks. It's not super smooth. Um, but I tried. And what, so like, I had like little lights, oops, I had little light spaces when I was putting on the Neos. So I made them like faux wispy clouds or whatever. the 
focus look all funky. There we go. Oh, Kimberly. Well, I'm glad you quit. Teresa, I used I used an e-cigarette to quit. Um I had started and and I don't count my quit date until I stopped the e-cigarette. So Let's see. Let's do this big. No, I wanted to do all the background stuff here. Um But I did. I used an e-cigarette. My husband did too. It was about, he only needed like six months on the e-cigarette. I probably needed um, almost eight months. And then after Zoe was born, I slipped, I slipped and wanted to smoke, but I took a cigarette and puked my guts out. <laughs> And said, so, never mind, I'll just go back and vape for a little bit. So I vaped for probably another, on and off for probably about four months while she was an infant. Not around her while she was sleeping. While I was watching the other one outside. But, you know, it worked. Excellent, May. This is some Jasnova chai. My mom went cold turkey. Yeah, she but she still dreams about it, she says. She's like, it's terrible. She's like, especially when I've had a stressful day, she's like, I will dream about smoking. And I will dream about getting pissed at somebody. <laughs> for trying to hand me or get mad at myself for smoking. Hi, Suzanne. Hello. But that's good, Kimberly. As long as it's gone. Doesn't matter how. Dude, Kimberly, you and me both. I actually started... Because I'm just, I'm killing myself here. I actually started um, a health tracker. So a, a log of what I eat, how much water, how much exercise, and how much I'm sleeping. Uh, so I've started doing that. So we'll see how that works. I wasn't necessarily going to test. I should though, huh? Now you're going to make me question it, Tess. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Kimberly. <laughs> I used to do the My Habit Track or my, um, my Fitness Pal or whatever that is. Oh, May. Yeah, now, now, Tess, you've ruined it. You've ruined it. Now I've got to go make them darker. <laughs> Thanks, Tess. Way to go. Yeah, it is. Um, why do I have like a? I want something with a little blue in it. A Payne's gray. Do I have? I don't have a Payne's gray. In Pablo's, so I'm gonna have to get my Polly Payne's gray, right? Polly Payne's gray is bluish gray, right? Kinda. That's not even what I'm looking for. 
<sighs> That's the bluish gray I'm looking for. But I don't want to get. You've ruined it, Tess. You've ruined it. Thank you, Kimberly. I hope you feel good, Tess. I hope you're happy with yourself. <laughs> I'm terrible and I know it. Let's see. Does Tessa have a good paint gray? Charcoal's a... Oh, shoot. Let's do that. All right, so I'm grabbing the Arteza charcoal. Thank you. Oh, Kimberly, I know I was tracking for a while too, and I had dropped. I'm gonna sharpen this. I had dropped. I don't even know how many pounds. Thirty almost. I dropped almost thirty because I was doing. Zumba every day or every other day three days a week and I was doing the calorie tracker and then I hurt my back and that was it I had hurt my back so bad I could barely stand up There you go, Tess. Just keep me on my toes. That's right, May. I'm kind of amazed how these Artezas are working on top of the, uh, Pablo's. Sorry if you hear my stomach again. I can't, I can't control this damn thing. What? That's amazing, Tess. But Kimberly, I know what my problem is. I boredom eat. What I need to do is move move my jar of M&Ms out of my office. That's what I need to do. Like right now, I'm stinking hungry. Yeah, Kimberly. And then getting back on it is really hard. Because you had all that motivation to begin with. But now, like... So, I'm actually going to the doctor on Friday. Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Um, I'm going to the doctor on Friday. And... Because my hip. And it... My hip is legit preventing me from doing stuff because it hurts to walk. It hurts to do anything but lay down or sit down. Um, and I want to exercise. I want to go on a walk. I want to use the elliptical. I want to use the rowing machine. I want to do yoga. And I cannot do those things if my hip won't allow it. So I'm, I'm trying to do better, but my body is not letting me. So that's excellent, May. You know, we should all like have a pact or something and lose weight. Just saying. buddy system hold each other accountable 
who's in. Hi, Judy. Me too, Kimberly. Me too. I'm tired of it. Like, I, I was in tears one day, just so fed up. So fed up. Chai's in. I'll write down my, my buddies. Chai. Oh, Janet. Yes, you can be excluded. Excluded. My girls weigh as much, as much as they are tall. So, Zoe is 38 inches tall and 38 pounds. And Kaylee is 48 inches tall and 48 pounds. It's a little disgusting. Yeah, I got to do about 50. Ugh. That, and that's rough on the body too, Tess. To be switching medicine. That's true, May. That's true. But I've seen pictures. You're not bad, so. I was on a anti-inflammatory for my hip for a little while and that did like not only did that do wonders for my hip it did wonders for my back I didn't realize how much back pain I had until it was gone which I thought was very sad actually <laughs> like I was very like that was depressing And that, that was another thing, is depression kicked in. When depression kicks in, you know. It is rough, Judy. <laughs> It is rough. No joke. Cake is yummy. I made cookies. I mean, you know. I gave some away. My husband's been eating the rest of them. He needs to lose weight too, but I've got to work on his portion control. That's his problem. Wow, man. That's pretty cool, though. Exactly. If you can't have cake every once in a while, it's not the right diet. 
it's all about moderation. Everything in moderation. I feel like I have to push that one back a little bit more. Let's go. There, Tess, is that one pushed back enough? Is that, is that sufficiently shaded? <laughs> That's interesting, Judy. Oh, no problem, Kimberly. That's okay. I'm trying to drink more water. May still is Superwoman. Just in different ways now. See, even Judy thinks so. It's a consensus now. I'm gonna have to work on my leaves. There's a lot of flipping leaves around here. <laughs> See? We know, right, Judy? Tess must have stepped away. She's not answering about my shadows. I'm going to cry. I know, May. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> uh, I love these things. I can tell you what. I've been coloring pretty fast lately. Um, because the coffins in the background only took me two days. Uh, the background here only took me a day. I've been coloring pretty fast, um, because at night I've been watching a show and coloring at the same time. I used to do that, and then I stopped. I don't know why I stopped, but I did. And then I stopped doing it, and then it took me forever to color again. So, I'm starting to fix it. That's okay, May. That's okay. You know, Chai, I was thinking about doing something like that. Just having a base for it. But we'll see. We'll see when I get there. Um, I may, like these big, big trees, they may get watercolor base. Because they're going to be the darker um, maple trees. So, welcome back, Melody. What are we up to? An hour and a half. Let's see. Coco. Hi, Joan. I'm using Pablo's and a bit of Arteza and some pit past or pit pens. You know, just bits and bobs of everything.
What did Judy do? Oh, awesome, Judy. Get a good art room going. That's awesome. I need to, I need to go through and declutter again. I feel very cluttered again. I get cluttered very easy. I know. Aww, Melody. You're so sweet. I was watching Heather the other day. I'm recording. I didn't catch her live. She's live so early. It's so early for me when she goes live. Let's do up in here. What tree is this coming off of? This one, okay. I'm just going in with a base of um, that light beige. It almost sounds like somebody's using a generator. Oh my goodness, so the there's a hurricane. Surprise, surprise. Headed for Florida. And I kid you not, this is why we always run out of supplies um, in our area. Because these daft people on the neighborhood uh, group page were like, oh look, here's Hurricane Michael. The path, which is five days from now, has it coming on land and heading for North Carolina. Which, okay. And they were like, you need to stock up now. Like, look, it's five days away. You have five days for this to either dissipate, change course, or whatever. And anyway, once it gets to us, it'll be below a tropical storm. It'll just be a thunderstorm, and I'm pretty sure we can survive a thunderstorm, people. Killing me. Sorry. Yes, that's true. Drum, Drum Wagner and Zom Jasnova are the same book. <laughs> Sorry, Judy. <laughs> Thank you, I, I think. It just, it kills me, man. And then, you know, and then, like, there's not going to be any bread and there's not going to be any storm. I still have water from the last hurricane. I'm not about ready to run out there and buy up everything just for the the idea that we might get a thunderstorm. Crying out loud, people. Hi, Marie. Yes, Kimberly, it's the same book. 
I have it too. I, I, I got it because I'm a crazy person. Um, which should not be a surprise to anybody. I haven't colored, like, that'll be one of the last books I color in. But I think the paper's a little different. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. I haven't broke it open yet. Other than to do a quick flip and see. Uh, I suppose, Janet. I suppose. But I mean, seriously, what did you do with all the water that you got for the last hurricane? Because I tell you what, I've I've tried taking it to several donation centers and they're they're like, well we you know we can't take this, we only take cash donations, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And it's like I just wanna get rid of like the six cases of water that I bought. I was like I don't I don't want money for it, I just wanna give it away. Won't somebody take this freaking water? There are people that need it. Take it. But nobody wants it. It's very sad. Yep, Zelm just Nova. Thank you, May. What book am I always working in? <laughs> oh, I was watching Kate's doing Drum Wagner with the the double page mushrooms with the Pablo. So I was just like, I wanna do I wanna do one. I know, it's just water. It's not been opened. I just, I don't understand. And I feel bad. I'm like, I've got all this water. I don't need it. So I've taken to bringing it to soccer for people. I just have a case, of, you know, take a soft-sided cooler and stick some water in it and take it. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I can drink it, but not, uh, the the amount of water we bought was enough to flush toilets, cook, and drink. So there's a lot of flipping water. <laughs> And, and, and eventually, like, I'm not going to throw it away or anything like that. But, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't have enough storage space. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm taking it to soccer. And, you know, sometimes... People forget water bottles or whatever, so that I have cold water. I just wish the donation centers would have taken it. Like, that really kills me. The only donation center I saw that was actually taking bottled water was the one at the Heart Walk, but we didn't know they were going to have a donation center. Otherwise, we would have brought our cases of water. Chai. <laughs> yeah, shipping to May is terrible. Oh goodness, May. Oh, I was looking at shipping something to you. 
faster than a month. <laughs> and it was, it was like $60 to ship. It was insane. Let's see. Let's work on this little guy right here. I'll slide down because I'm going to work. Work up. I'm going to take my light, light page. These are some cute little squirrels. I have to figure out what are these red squirrels with the little tufts at the top. Anybody know they're squirrels? I missed something. Yeah, I feel bad for you, May. I really do. Oh, let's just, no, let me just go all the way up. Because otherwise, no, this one. Then beige. Yeah, so this is a like a rabbit. But I'm trying to figure out what type of squirrel it is because they've got a squirrel here with like these little tufts that come up. Can you see the little fluffy tufts that they've got drawn? But then I think there's another squirrel. You got more squirrels up here with the little tufty ears, the really pointed ears. But then I don't know if this is a squirrel or if it's a mouse, because there's a mouse down here. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's a badger. I'm so excited to color this badger. There's a fox. There's three more. There's some deer. There's a unicorn. I mean, you know. It's like Snow White or Sleeping Beauty or something. Oh, that's terrible, Janet. Yeah, but are they like red squirrels? Or are they gray squirrels? I'm trying to figure out what type of squirrels they are. Hairs. Okay. Because they have the big, big ears. The hairs have big ears, right? Yeah, we have um, we have gray squirrels here, but they don't have the pointed ears. That's why I'm thinking it's a red squirrel. I'll look them up, I guess. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> we got a frog that teases the cats, jumps on my window at night, and just sits there and eats the moths for a few hours and then jumps away. And the cats go crazy trying to get him. Aww. That's terrible, Janet.
My grandpa's dog used to sit in the backyard and hunt squirrels. My grandpa hunted them with a slingshot. It was the funniest damn thing. He only ever got one with the slingshot. But he tried. Oh my gosh, did he try. Dog to go barking after him. No problem. Have a good day, Christian. Bye. Oh, that's terrible, May. I'm sorry. Let's see what's next. Brownish beige. May, does Amazon do that right? Do they mark it properly or do you have to pay on that? Some of feel really bad. Might as well just send it to me and then send it to you. And at least I can mark it a gift. You know? Oh, okay, good. Uh, Marie, the book is on Jasnova. Let's see, and then I'm on Coco. No problem. I'm probably just going to shade this tree and then I'm going to have to go myself. I need to start working. I've been meaning to do it all week and I've been putting it off and putting it off and I can't. I can't put it off any longer. I have to get the yard work done. I did laundry all day yesterday. Crap, I have to put something in the crock pot too. Thank you, Catherine. I'm 
glad you liked it, sweetie. I have fun making these. A little bit of the grayish black. I think I need to shadow up more this way because I'm assuming this is a really, really big tree. He's probably growing off the side here. So I'll need to fix that. Now Tess is keeping me on my toes with the shadows. Um, I don't know, Marie. I don't know. May, do you know if anybody else is streaming today? Is um Sammy? I'm zooming out here, guys. Do we know if Sammy's streaming today? Yeah. Sammy. That's what I thought. So, so far, I have a few trees. <laughs> Just a couple. You know, no bigs. A lot more trees to go. So many more trees. But it's fun. Like, I enjoy just sitting there and coloring those trees. That's enjoyable to me. Oh my goodness, Chai. Wait, 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 wait. A Bissell machine that does both mopping and sweeping? That's, um, wow. Oh, well, anyway. Thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell button to get notifications. Um, I will try to edit and put um, some info and links in the description. I honestly don't know that I'm going to get to it very quickly today, um, but I'll try to get to it sometime today. Um, and with that, y'all have a wonderful day, and I will see you later.